last 20 years ago, in an unplanned development of our own. All planning aspects were booked, but we failed to implement it. It was not only the Bangalore analysis. 85% is the percentage of unplanned development. 15% is actually a planned development. When we say what is planned and unplanned, the norms are the same. Like a Bidar or a Belgaum, a Mangalur or a Chandrash Nagar or a Bangalore, the norms are the same. Whatever area you are developing, like many of us know we know that 5% goes to CSE. I guess like that, yeah. Our plans are, though we plan so well, can anybody imagine that we plan so well for double priority, they have to be able to make them up to them. That's how short term our plan is done. Hardly 10 years. Hardly within 10 years. You pay the press for 10 years before that infrastructure is created. Now you are taking another 10 years to demolish and get into it. Sir, three years good far, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 60. They are not supposed to do it actually. It was not there. We are facing a problem because of the contract. Now let us focus on planning also. We don't. Let us alert them now. We don't plan for the times ahead. We plan for today there is a traffic jam here. I would only look at how I postpone from this traffic jam. I hear this traffic jam, you know that there is going to be a next traffic jam. But you don't bother about that. You don't bother to go all the way through because you have a road. Till the end you have to plan by it. No, you plan only today, like Sar said, Hebar C. You are only planning for Hebar Bridge. You clear Hebar Bridge in the next, next point in the next, you come, you come to the next point in the next. Push it to the next direction. That's all. You are only doing that much. Nothing beyond that. Hebar 2-0. Hebar 2-0. Yes, sir. And it's called Hebar 2-0. Either to Bangalore or Chandra's level to Pradham, norms are safe, like 5%. There are two types of planning. One is town planning and second thing is the normal other residential planning. The norms prakara, any planned layout, we have to leave 5% to civil communities. We know that 10% we need to leave to park and 30% we need to leave to roads. And left out is 55, there is a maximum. Someone is concerned about Vasco and other things, another half percent or one percent. So maximum we get about 54 percent to 55 percent of any area for sale. This is a standard norm for me. Sir, about landscape? Yes, it's a moral development. Percentage of the price. Five percent is CA, civic communities. Ten percent is park. Thirty percent is the road. That's not okay. Unfortunately, we achieved only 50 percent of value. So 85% is unplanned development, what we call Dita Ka and then someone purchases the sites and because who did this unplanned development is our own authorities. Everyone knows. But the suffering is common man. And he got even to construct or don't do it, construct not do it, I'm going to 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 do it, for unplanned development, some have a path of take away because 20 years, 30 years, 15 years, or a world politics one day before put it. And now we are everything converted down into ECA, that is their project. So this is how the things are happened in the last few years. These aspects are now we have not appeared with the development of Mardavana Tarpan, the authorities in Tarpan, the sufferers of the law are getting better. For example, there is a available land with the Sridhar Babu, which is 4,000 rupees. Next to it, someone is selling at 1,500. So, it is a common mentality that we will go to that 1,500 because it is available in our pocket. So, R&T development is added in the last 20 years. Again, especially in the BIA, 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 so we need to develop in this particular method or we need to keep like in a different circle. Some relaxation with the village limits are like within one kilometer of the other village, some relaxation could be that. If the agiro problem is not only rectify, that is the major challenge of this planning. If the common solution is that Gracias.
there is a suburban university. There are universities are here, there are Tumba here. Bombay is known for suburban, Kolkata is known for suburban. Hyderabad is invested almost 20 years back. Chennai is a successful university. Now in Bangalore, The advantage is they have a connected suburban and metro. They have planned system and the coordination of the road. So you can get out in a MRTS and take it to the road. They are working like a feeder to one another. Unfortunately, recently I got an opportunity to participate with the central railway administration in small road areas. And they came to know that they have a lot of plans for that. So we can just the Bangalore Main Station. Yeah. You have met Ashwini? We have missed our climax. Uh, yes, Ashwini Vaishnava. Not our Ashwini. <laughs> Ashwini Vaishnava, yes. So uh, uh, that's where the importance is there for our this project. Exactly. Why uh, we have to uh, consider this project is these uh, congested areas, there is no other solution. No. It's all developed. To be like that for the next uh, 50 years. Only if we have to move to uh, public transport or equipment distribution sites. So, in this case, we have congested areas. We have to focus on the success. Ultimately, we have some problem solving solution for cost effectiveness. Two aspects in that. Are there any congestion? Are there any congestion? Okay, now second time we'll have to decide that. Sir, that's a particular area again, now we'll have to hold it. Maybe we'll have to hold it. Only second time, we'll have to hold it. Second time, you are delaying the transportation network in that area. We want the quick transportation also for people to move fast. The feeding services on the metro again, within two or three kilometers distance, go over.